tree and graphs are non-linear data structures. In order to visit through all the vertices of the tree, you have a uh, traversal techniques. The first one is in order, pre-order and post-order. Similarly, in order to visit through all the vertices and edges of the graph, BFS and DFS algorithms is used. BFS is nothing but breadth first search algorithm, DFS depth first search algorithm. So, why do you require to use this breadth first search algorithm? In order to visit through all the vertices and edges of the graph in particular fashion. So, this is similar to level by level tree traversal. In order to implement this PFS, data structure queue is used. So, when you do the PFS traversal, it redraws trees in tree like fashion, which results in two kinds of edges. One, edge, one kind of edge is called tree edge, other one is cross edge. <coughs> Cross edge connects previously visited vertex other than its immediate predecessor. So we will see with the example here. This is the example given to you. Now we will see how this uh, BFS algorithm is implemented in order to traverse this vertices of this graph. So first start with one. This is being visited. Then Visit through all the adjacent vertices of 1, 2, 3, 4 is being visited. Then 2 comes first. So, explore all its adjacent vertices that is 5, 6. Then for 3, 7, 8. Then for 4 it is 9, 10. So, the, look at the order in which you are visiting through all the vertices of the graph. First with 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 5, 6, then 7, 8, then 9, 10. This is how you are visiting through the vertices of the graph. That is level by level. We will see the pseudo code of uh, BFS algorithm. <coughs> Initially, mark all the vertices of the graph with value 0. This indicates vertices of the graph is being unvisited. Use the global variable called count in order to uh, say that these vertices is being visited, mark that vertex with some count value. So initially count is equal to 0 because none of the vertices of the graph is being visited. So for each vertex B in vertex set B, if B is marked with value 0, then invoke BFS algorithm. Increment count value, then mark B with count and initialize Q with B. So, in initially you are invoking the algorithm with T and now that you are pushing B into the Q. So, you are required to perform these steps while Q is not empty. So, for each vertex W in B adjacent to the front vertex, if W is marked with 0, increment count by 1, mark W with count, add that W to the Q. How long? For every adjacent vertex to the front vertex, you are required to do that. Then, remove the front vertex from the queue. So, how long you are required to do like this? Till queue becomes empty. I will explain this algorithm for the previous graph. So, initialize all these vertices with value 0, then what you are required to do is call this PFS algorithm with this vertex 1 and 
next step please increment the count by one and push this one to the q data structure so now one is marked with value one this is included into the q now while q not empty now q is containing one element that is one so for each vertex w in v adjacent to the front vertex so which is a front vertex now currently it is one itself so for one itself so which are all the adjacent vertices of one two three four so insert that into the q and mark these two vertices with value 2, 3, 4 respectively and then <coughs> since all the elements of 1 that is all the adjacent elements of 1 is already explored now remove this from the queue now in front 2 is there for 2 again adjacent vertices are 5, 6 now remove this from the queue now in the front 3 is there adjacent vertices of 3 is 7, 8 push it into the queue now so since all the elements or all the adjacent vertices of 3 is explored remove 3 from the queue again now what will be there in the front now 4 so for 4 the adjacent vertices are 9, 10 this is being pushed into the queue. So now with that remove this. And then finally 5 will be there in the front. So no more adjacent vertices for 5. Remove 5 from the queue. Then remove 6 from the queue. Remove 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is what is being explained here. When the queue is not empty, you are required to explore all the adjacent vertices okay so how by level wise <coughs> so i'll illustrate one more we'll see here uh, so this is the graph for this we'll illustrate uh, <coughs> for this graph i'll explain how this bfs algorithm will work so start with a push this a into the q then explore all its adjacent vertices c d e in lexicographic order so c d e push that into the q so with that you have explored all the vertices uh, sorry adjacent vertices of k so remove a from the q so when you remove a from the q in front c will be there for that adjacent vertices or a d e but already a d e is marked with some sorry a d f a d is marked with some number so only one vertex which is adjacent to f which is marked with 0 is f so push that into the q so now the order in which you are pushing into the q is fine now you have explored all the adjacent vertices of C, so delete this from the queue. Now in the front D is there. For D also you have explored all the adjacent vertices. Then in front E. So for E, the adjacent vertices are F, A, F, B. A is explored already, F is explored already. The next one is B. So include that into the queue so next e is deleted and f then b so with that the queue becomes empty but there are some more vertices which is not marked with any value so first is start with g so insert g into the queue for G, the adjacent vertices are H and J. So, insert H and J into Q. Then, delete G. Now, when you delete G, on front, H will be there. For H, 
H. Already J is explored. The only one which is left out is I. So include or push that into the queue. So this is how the traversal looks like. So we started with A, then C, D, E is being visited, then A is removed. So for C, the adjacent vertex is only one is now F and then for E it is B, then G, adjacent vertex is H, J, then for H it is I. So we'll see for one more graph here. So for this graph, uh, BFS traversal is applied here. Start with A. Adjacent vertices of A is B, E. For B it is C, F. And for C it is D, E. Uh, sorry, D, J. And for D it is H. Okay. So now here, for this tree traversal, you are getting two trees. This indicates that look at both tree uh, trees are disjoint trees. So, set of disjoint trees is called forest. When you apply BFS traversal for a graph, if you get a forest, this indicates graph is disconnected graph. That is, it is not connected. So, when you apply this PFS traversal, if you get cross edge like this, then the graph contains cycle. And one more property you can derive from BFS algorithm is minimum edge path. So, you can find minimum edge path by applying BFS algorithm. So, here, look at here. To reach to G, starting from A, start invoking uh, this BFS algorithm for A, from for A. So with that, you are getting the this as the resultant tree. <coughs> so look at here, from A to G, how many part, how many edges are there? One, two, three. So three edges are there. Okay. So, minimum path edge is 1, 2, 3. So, in BFS algorithm, it is similar to DFS. When it is implemented using adjacency matrix, then complexity is theta of B square. And when it is implemented using adjacency list, complexity is theta of modulus of E plus modulus of E. This yields single ordering of vertices, that is, order in which you are adding the vertices into the queue, in the same order you are deleting from the queue. So, applications of uh, BFS is same as that of the DFS, that is, two common uh, properties. One is, uh, you can check whether the graph is cyclic or not. The second property you can derive from BFS tra traversal is, uh, you can... Uh, check whether graph is connected or not and distinct property of BFS is so you can find minimum path edge.